Yo, what's going on? Mike from Mike Talk Sports. Calvin Ridley had a phenomenal start to his Jaguar career, putting up eight catches for 101 yards and a touchdown in week one, but he's really struggled to get it going in weeks two and weeks three, as he's only put up five catches for 72 yards combined. So in today's video, we are going to be breaking down the career of Calvin Ridley along with his skill set in order to determine is Calvin Ridley overrated, underrated, or properly rated. Coming out of Alabama, Calvin Ridley had his best year in his first year at Alabama, which is a bit concerning for a prospect coming out. Nonetheless, he was the second receiver drafted in the 2018 draft, getting drafted in the late first round by the Atlanta Falcons. His rookie year was extremely interesting. He had extremely high highs and very low lows. It was an absolute roller coaster of a season for Calvin Ridley. Despite being healthy and playing 16 games, he only made five starts the entire season somewhat frustrating the coaching staff and not garnering the trust of Matt Ryan just yet. Despite only starting five games, he still had 92 targets for 821 yards and 10 touchdowns already establishing himself as a borderline elite red zone threat. In the Matt Ryan and Julio Jones era, it was never a strong suit of either guys working well in the red zone, so the fact that they now had this elite red zone threat really added another dimension to this offense. On a surface level, it seems as though Calvin Ridley had a very good rookie season. Why did he only start five games this season? And what were some of the negatives that did pop up this year with Calvin Ridley's game? Well, quite simply, it was the mental errors and mental mistakes by Calvin Ridley. He had 10 drop passes this season with a 10.9% drop rate. And for reference, the median drop rate over the last couple of years is 6.7%. And he also had two fumbles this season. Make no mistake about it. It, guys, Calvin Ridley had some of the most suspect hands in the entire NFL this season with some concentration drops and overall some timely fumbles. Even though he was clearly the second best receiver on the roster, time and time again, they would consistently go to guys such as Muhammad Sanu, not because he was more physically talented than Calvin Ridley, but because he was more trustworthy. Overall though, he certainly did flash the potential to be an elite route runner and overall an elite red zone target in his rookie season season. In 2019, he ended up missing the last three games due to an abdominal strain, but overall in 10 starts, he had 63 catches, 866 yards for seven touchdowns. He really was starting to garner the trust of Matt Ryan and overall this coaching staff as he was consistently starting by the end of the year and by the time he did get injured. And it seems as though in this season, he completely fixed his drop issue as his drop rate this season was only 3.2%. And he had zero fumbles on the season as well. Despite some of the high highs Calvin Ridley did display in this season, there was one glaring negative that started to become a question mark surrounding Calvin Ridley's career. And overall, though he's shown flashes at being good at this, overall, this has been something he's really been lacking his entire career. As a guy who runs a 4-4-40 yard dash, he's somebody who is expected to be very good with the ball in his hands. But in this season, he only had two. 2.2 yards after catch per reception. This rate this season was one of the worst for any receiver per minimum of 30 catches this season. And overall, having 2.2 yards per catch after the reception is honestly in tight end territory of being very bad. It became very evident in this season that though Calvin Ridley had incredible agility, very good acceleration, and a very good top end speed, and though he could make some defenders miss in the NFL level, Overall, on a snap-to-snap -snap basis, the play strength was not there, and the overall awareness and vision from a run-after-the-catch perspective is very lacking with Calvin Ridley this season, and overall, it's been lacking throughout his entire career. Now, in 2020, Julio Jones got injured, so it was time for Calvin Ridley to step up, but Calvin Ridley suffered a significant foot injury this season. Despite suffering a significant foot injury, he played through this foot injury the entire career make no mistake about it the 2020 performance from Calvin Ridley not only was absolutely phenomenal from a statistical standpoint but it was absolutely impressive from a mental fortitude standpoint he was so tough out there playing through that big foot injury
And in 15 games this season for Calvin Ridley, he put up 90 catches for 1,374 yards and 9 touchdowns. This was good enough to have Calvin Ridley make all pro second team honors and he really was a top 15 receiver this season. The stats don't lie and the eye test does not lie. Calvin Ridley established himself in this season as a top 5 route runner in the entire NFL. Many considered him and Amari Cooper 1A and 1B in terms of who the best route runners were in the league at this point. He only had 6 drops this season and he had a 4.2% drop rate overall and above average guy in terms of his hands this season and Matt Ryan did throw 5 out of his 11 interceptions trying to target Ridley this season but overall that is to be expected. Calvin Ridley was the number one catching option in a high octane passing offense. Calvin Ridley was an extremely dangerous threat in 2020 at all three levels of the field. Not only was he consistently getting open on third and short and third and medium opportunities working very well in the short to intermediate passing game but he was a very good deep threat this season as well consistently burning and taking the top off of the defense with his elite route running ability coming off of his first a thousand yard season in three nfl seasons it was expected that calvin ridley would retain his spot as a top 20 receiver in 2021 this simply did not happen first and foremost the arm talent and overall talent from matt ryan his quarterback honestly fell off a cliff so i can't blame calvin ridley too much but Calvin Ridley did only play five games in the season and in five games he had 31 catches 281 yards and two touchdowns with 2.9 yards after catch per reception he had a 5.8 percent drop rate this season which somewhat increased over his last few seasons but overall wasn't nearly as bad as it was in his rookie season and while he wasn't on track to have this elite year that he did in 2020 he was still on track to be in a thousand yard receiver but of course this did not come to fruition as he ended up taking the rest of the year off due to mental health reasons it seems as though today Calvin Ridley is in a much better mental health spot which is definitely a good thing but in this offseason as he was expected to come back strong in the the 2022 NFL season. He of course was suspended for the entire year due to gambling and the Falcons realized they might as well trade Calvin Ridley as he did not fit the timeline of their new rebuild. He was traded for a later round pick in the 2023 NFL Draft and a 2024 second rounder. Overall, pretty solid value for the Jaguars and a pretty good trade for the Falcons as well, in my opinion. And that's what brings us to today. Of course, in the first game of the season, he had a phenomenal game. As I mentioned, guys, after this first game, it seems as though him and Trevor Lawrence would put up 1,400 yards together with at least 10 touchdowns. But these expectations have slowly but surely somewhat died over the last two weeks as he somewhat struggled with five catches for 72 yards and he had two bad drops and two false start penalties in week three and he had a bunch of near catches in week two that technically did not count as drops but overall in my opinion he really did lack the spatial awareness that he really needed to have in order to come down with some of those tough catches in week two of the NFL season. After a bit of a career synopsis to answer the question of the video, do I think Calvin Ridley is overrated, underrated, or properly rated? I honestly think Calvin Ridley is properly rated. Everybody knows how good of a route runner he is, and overall, he is an elite route runner. Not only does the film back this up, but the numbers and analytics back this up as well. Overall, he's not viewed as this good guy after the catch, and the stats and the eye test really do back this up. Calvin Ridley straight up is just not good after the catch, despite having the physical tools to be good after the catch and he is a reputation for having solid hands but he does make some mental drops and some mental errors overall overall in my opinion he has about league average hands I think that's pretty fair to say at this point in his career I still expect him to have a solid career with the Jaguars and overall a solid year with the Jaguars if I had to give a prediction thus far into this season to what his stat line will look like at the end of the 
season. I think he puts up about 1,100 yards this season with eight touchdowns, which is a very nice bounce back year for Calvin Ridley. And per this recording, he's about to have his revenge game against the Falcons, and I absolutely wish him luck against the Falcons. I think he's going to ball out versus his former team. Thanks for watching today's video of Mike Talk Sports. Let me know in the comment section below, what are your thoughts on Calvin Ridley? Is he overrated, underrated, or properly rated? If you enjoyed today's video and listen till the end, I really appreciate it, guys. Smack that like and hit subscribe.